All right, so in this video, we are going to make some changes to the home page of our website here. And we are going to, so we can see we have this featured collection up here that has um, one product in it. And we've got some copy here that's just generic. So I want to set this up so we have more products up here. And then underneath it, we'll display our collections uh, that we have here. And we'll make some changes to the footer as well. So we got to go back into the admin panel to do that. And actually, just to show you this, well, no, I'll show you here. We'll go to online store. And we're going to edit the theme. So we want to customize our theme. And here we are in the theme editor. We've got the header and the sidebar. That's our menu. And we've got this section called Featured Collection, which is this product here, and Rich Text, which is this text here. Rich Text just means you can uh, format your text the way you want it. And then we have the footer, which is down here. So if I click on Featured Collection, you'll see we've got some settings we can change. We can change the, the heading. Um, and it's selected this collection called Homepage which is created by default by Shopify and um, it automatically selected it. If we didn't have that or we wanted to change it to something else, we could click change and select another collection, but homepage works for us. So we'll just leave it at homepage and we'll add some products to that homepage collection in the admin in a minute. But your other option here is to set the number of rows. Right now there's only one product in there, so it doesn't matter what I set this to. But um, I'll leave it at two for now. Depending on how many products you add to it, you'll want to uh, decide how many rows you want. So we'll leave that, we'll come back. And then this rich text section, I don't want that there. You could leave that there and say something about your brand or whatever you want to say. But for my purposes, we don't need it. So I'm going to click on it and then click on this remove section button. That just takes it out. And then I want to add my other collections down here, a list of collections. So I'm going to click Add Section. And these are all the sections that you can add in this simple theme. Um, a lot of them are very useful, but the ones we need right now, and if you buy like some other expensive themes, they'll have a lot more options in, in their sections to add to the theme. But this one's simple, obviously. So they only give you this list. But the one I want right now is this collection list. So I'm just going to click on it and it will insert it in here temporarily just to show you what it looks like. And then when I click add, it will add it and take me to the settings. So the, these are the settings we have. Um, collection list. I think I'll change that probably to like browse our collections. And then collections per row. I'm going to bump that up because I want, oh no, three is fine. But I think I have nine collections I'm going to add to this. So I've got three in here right now. I'm going to add six more. So one, close that, two, three, and it, you can see it breaks it to the next row, four, five, six. All right. Now I've got nine collections to display there. And all you do here is drop this down and select the collection you want to show. So I've got, I'm pretty sure I've got nine in here. I select it, then hit select. And there it is. Now when you click on this collection, it'll take you to all the products in that collection. So I'm just going to quickly select the rest of these. Bath and bridal. Gifts, kids, and I'm just clicking them quickly because even if I don't like where they are, you can just drag and drop and reorder them. So it doesn't really matter which one I select right now. Accessories, skin, 
and what do we got left here? Hair and makeup. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Um, I'm gonna click save. And then whoop, go up here, and now I could change this to four, and it will just make the boxes smaller, which is nice if you had more collections. But looks since I've got nine, three is going to work out perfectly. All right, and then we'll click back up here. And the only other tweak I'm gonna make here is in the footer. So I'll select the footer. And right now in the footer, we have this links option. And I can change the heading. And that actually selected the other menu that Shopify set up by default, which was the footer menu. And uh, we could change it if we wanted to, but I'll probably just add some more links to that in uh, the following videos. We'll probably do a contact page or something and add that to that menu. Right now it's just the search where you can search for products, which is helpful if you've got a lot of products. And then the, the, only, the footer has a little more restrictions. If I click add content, you can only add the menu, which we already have, and text, which is just a text box. It shows up like that. Uh, sometimes I like to change this to an about us. And then you can put a little blurb about your company. And then the other option, which everyone should do, is the newsletter sign up. So you click that, and it gives you that sign up, which is super helpful. Um, I'm going to delete this because we don't really need it. And then it just leaves it like that. So I'll click. Oh, one other thing is in this newsletter sign up, you've got the description that you can set, which is here, but the heading's not in this box the heading you have to edit and usually when there's some uh, some copy on your site that you can't edit in the settings here it's in what's called the um, the theme uh, language files which you can get to right here but I'll also show you another way to get to so I'll just save our work here and We'll get out of here and go back to our admin panel. And we're in the themes here. And right under actions, if I click that and go edit languages, it's the same option from the theme editor. It takes you to the same place, but sometimes it's easier to get there from there. Um, and you'll see if I go to the front end of the site and refresh, it's looking pretty good. Um, it says be in the know, and I think that's kind of odd. I mean, you could leave that. It's kind of cute. Uh, but if you wanted to change it, here it is, right? So I just scroll down to newsletter form and join our newsletter. And scroll back up and hit save. And now if I refresh the page here, there we go. All right, last thing we want to do here is add some products to that collection. So back in the admin, we'll go to the collections product, which is under products. Click collections. And now we can see, and this is where all those images come from, by the way. When you're in the collection, you add it, you add an image to it, and that's where these images get grabbed from. So we want the home page one, which doesn't have a collection image, but doesn't really need it. And then we can just add products to it. So I can click browse and we can go headband, earrings. Let's see. Let's do those. And now you can also see they, you can sort them by best selling, but usually I mean, you could sort it by any of these you want, but a lot of times it's easier to just switch to manually, and then you can put them wherever you want. And don't even have to save that actually right now, because as soon as you add a product, it saves it. So we'll go to the front end, and we will refresh. And there's our featured products. Uh, hairbrush. Looks funny because it's got white, right? So let me tweak that real quick. 
just take that one out browse add another one that looks better there we go and there we go looking good and I'm actually going to change this heading as well so let's go back into the customize and we'll go featured collection change that to featured products and let's see rows we got two perfect save and I'll refresh on the front end cool looking like a real store here all right see you in the next video